there's an apologetics tactic that seems to be gaining popularity of late. This one isn't showing up in any formal debates, mind you. This one's reserved for the infantry of religious debaters, the drooling asshats that you find commenting on YouTube videos and trolling Reddit. It's a tactic I like to call God the Ingredientless Sandwich. It goes like this. First, I, the apologist, upon seeing your blog post or YouTube video or whatever, tell you how wrong you've got it. Then I offer a definition of God that's so vague and meaningless it would make Deepak Chopra blush. By the time I've done, I've defined God to be absolutely nothing. He's a sandwich with no ingredients. He's all things, or he's the transcriber of physical laws. He's the part of us that knows the divine, or he's the innate sense of goodness in each and every one of us. And then you, the counterapologist, have nothing to argue with. Sure, you could point out that if the term God just means all things, then there's no point in the term God, since we clearly all agree that all things that exist, exist. You could point out that if, by God, I don't mean an all-knowing, all-powerful, omnibenevolent, all-creating conscious force, then I should probably come up with a different word to use, since that's what the rest of the English language has decided that the word God means. But I'm never wrong, because whatever you say about God, I'll just exclude that from my definition. Let me give you a real-world example. I do a segment on the blog called Live Blogging the Bible, where I jot down some of the craziest shit in the book as I come across it. Among the passages that inspired a blog entry was the one in Exodus, where Moses out-wrestles God by calling upon the magical powers of his son's penis wreath. So some theist pops up and gives me a response along the lines of, Tee-hee, yeah, that part's pretty silly, but man, is this book still really, really divine, though. Like, really, really importantly, sacredly, divinely inspired. But tee-hee, the individual passages are pretty silly, yeah. Now, this has been a pretty common criticism of the whole Holy Babble segment. A Catholic friend of mine told me I was missing the point of Christianity by focusing on the Bible. Who reads Leviticus, after all? Now, I felt obligated to point out that Leviticus is the one that they use to justify the homophobia thing, so, you know, it matters. But as I've said before, that's not the point of the segment. We're not out to disprove the Bible or offer a textual critique. We're here to point at it and laugh and make dick jokes. So I respond, he responds, I respond. He seems overwrought by the fact that somehow his innocent defense of the Bible on a website called The Scathing Atheist turned into a debate. He gives me the ingredientless God in the form of, I don't claim to know all the answers like you atheists do. I don't claim to know what God is. I'm just open to the possibility and believe that it's true. Well, bully for you. This liberal defense of theism, this I'm open-minded and you're not because I'm willing to believe logically incoherent things and you aren't defense really pisses me off. It brings out the worst in me. These nearsighted fucktards defend some wishy-washy, intangible notion of religion, and because of that, they think that they get to wash their hands of all the bad shit religion does. Religion starts wars. Yeah, but not my type of religion. Religion oppresses women and gays. Yes, but not my theological bent. Religion opposes science, yes, but not my vision of God. Well, that doesn't fucking matter, jackass. If you're setting out to defend God against the atheists, you don't get to just defend your gelatinous definition, because that's not the only one I'm attacking. Yes, yours is bullshit too, but it's not the only bullshit on the block. You're involving yourself in a social movement, and if you win, you don't just win for your little slice of your side. You win for every homophobic, misogynistic, child-indoctrinating, anti-science, anti-education, anti-abortion, anti-equality fucktard who wears the cross. And I think it's worth noting that there's a hell of a lot more of those Christians than there are of you. Keep in mind that I'm not talking about what you believe. Believe whatever you want. I might make fun of it, but I really don't give a shit what you believe. I'm talking about what you choose to publicly defend, what you choose to put the weight of your intellect behind. So eventually this commenter writes me off under the label of religious intolerance. What, like that's supposed to be an insult? I wear the religious intolerance label pretty proudly, buddy. I spend about 40 hours a week being actively intolerant of religion and the rest of my time being passively intolerant. The fact is that these would-be apologists are defending the side that makes good people kill other good people. To that, I simply say you should be ashamed of yourself and you're not, so I'm ashamed of you for you.